Oh yeah, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the pre-show. You know it, I'm Mahini McJohnson, baby. We have some very, very special announcements coming up. We have a, a very special Halloween episode coming at you next week. And also, if you haven't caught my latest music album release called Mad Racer, I'm going to be doing some musical performances for you guys. And we have another one coming out next week called Animal, okay? It's going to be going viral and it's going to become triple, quadruple, platinum, plutonium, okay? So just make sure you stay tuned. And uh, let's go ahead and just jump into the episode. I'll see you guys soon. show you how to make an unbelievable one. The first thing we're going to do is prepare a delicious pasta and sauce, baby. Here's your ingredients. We'll leave this here for a second. Okay, now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get a nice big pot, fill it up about halfway, speed this up for you. And then we're just going to set it on the stove and we're going to put our Put our top on, okay? And then we're just gonna put the heat up to all the way. Get it nice and boiling and sizzling and stuff. All right, then when it starts to boil, we're just gonna take the top off here and then we're gonna add some salt, okay? You want it nice and salty. It should taste like the ocean. Yeah, you can't really use enough salt here. Just blast it full. Just fill it up with salt, okay? And then we can just use whatever kind of whatever kind of macaroni you want. You know, you can have fun with it. You don't have to use elbow. You can do whatever you want. If you want to try out some new stuff, you can do that too. All right, now we're just going to stir it up there. And then we're going to let that sit for a little. All right, and then now we're going to follow whatever instructions your, your macaroni and cheese box said. Mine said seven minutes. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, now we're going to get another pan ready. And we're going to set that to a barrel medium high and this is gonna be for our sauce all right so we're just gonna take our six tablespoons of butter and we're gonna put them in there I cut mine in half they melt better that way I think and then we're gonna add an eighth of a cup of flour just take that and just put it in there sprinkle it in there nice and nice and slowly okay and then we'll just give it a nice stir. You want to make sure you stir it so there's no clumps. It's gonna, you want it to be like a nice smooth consistency. And then don't forget to go back to your pasta that we had and stir it a little bit. Otherwise it will all stick to the bottom and it will start to taste gross and disgusting. All right, now we got our three cups of milk. And just slowly add this while you stir it up. There you go. And you want to stir this till it starts to thicken. It's going to get nice and creamy. Look at that. Yeah, just a couple minutes. All right, now we're going to take that, turn it down to low. And then here's where we're going to add our deliciousness, okay? You're going to take this 12 ounces of cream cheese and just plop it right in that big bad boy. Oh, look at that. This is all going to just taste so delicious. You're going to thank me at the end of this video. Say, oh, this is the best pepper jack mac and cheese I've ever had. Oh, here's the magic. Boom! Look at that. And if you try this on your own, it will do that. Just take the cheese and snap your fingers and it will, it will automatically cut for you. All right, there we go. Plop it in there and stir it around. Give it a nice stir. Stir it for a while until it gets nice and creamy. Look at that. And again, let's go back and stir our pasta. You don't want it to stick to the bottom and burn. And then now we're going to get super cheesy with it, baby. We're going to add all of the cheese that we have. Oh, whoops. Don't want to stir your bag in there. Yeah, just 
Just get this nice and sh- just nice and stirred up all the way. Till all that cheese is nice and melted. Oh my gosh, look at the cheese. I could just swim in that thing. And make sure you taste it. Gordon Ramsay always says you gotta taste what you're cooking. Otherwise, you're not going to know what to do. You're not going to know what to add. All right, now stir it again. Stir your pasta. You don't want it, you don't want it to stick. I say that enough. I can't think I can say it enough. I did that once and I forgot to stir all my stuff. And it got to the end and all my stuff was burned and it was terrible. And I, I really just, I really felt sad. All right, now we're going to add some, some flavor to it. I'm just going to add some garlic. Just a little bit. Okay, some white pepper. Then we get to do some nutmeg. You don't get a lot of this. It's very strong. Just stir that in there nice and good. Alright, now our pasta should be nice and done at this time. You can turn your oven off. And just take this and we're going to strand it very carefully, okay? You're going to burn yourself. And if you're, a, if you're a young tyke trying to make this, you might want to get your parents to help you out a little bit with this process because it really sucks to just have boiling water poured out over you. Oh my goodness, I love this part. You can dump it into the mac and cheese now, stir it around. Oh my god, I can smell it already. Oh, it's amazing. And then just blob it into a nice container here. This is what we're going to put into the oven. Just pour it in there. Oh, it's so gooey and stuff. Okay, now we're going to put the amazing crumble topping in here. This is going to be so crunchy. It's going to be amazing. Here's your ingredients. i just leave this here for a second for you. And let's get it started. Let's jump on into our panko breadcrumbs. We got some Parmesan cheese up in here. And we got some butter. It's very, very simple, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, everybody should know how to make mac and cheese. But I'm just, you know, giving you a little variation on some stuff that I absolutely love. Let's take that butter. We're going to melt it. Everything just mixes better when it's melted. Otherwise, it gets all clumpy. And let's just go ahead and add them in one at a time. We got some panko. And we got a Parmesan. Then we're going to add our butt. Uh, get it in there. And then I'd like to add a little bit more garlic in here. And maybe some oregano. And then make it a little bit of kick with some paprika. Boop. And then just get it all nice and stirred up. Get it all even. Stir this up for you. And then we're just going to take it and we're going to spread it on top of our mac and cheese. Get it all in there. Boop, 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 doop, doop, doop. Make sure you get a nice coating on there. And then we're just going to ram it into the oven. And leave it in there for about 30 minutes or so on 375. Should be good. Let that cook. It's going to get all nice and delicious. And then when the beep comes, you can take it out of the oven. Sit it there for a second. Okay, you might want to let it cool off a bit. Listen to this one. That was a gigantic crunch. That's what you want. You want it crunchy. You want it cheesy. You wanted everything that a mac and cheese should be, okay? If it's anything but those, it means you really messed something up. But look at this, oh my god, you guys are going to want to eat this every single day, you're going to get so fat, it's going to be magnificent, okay, all your children are going to love it, anybody you make it for is going to love it. Alright guys, I had an amazing time making this for you, but if you liked what I did here, and you want to follow me for some more, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on Deep in the Kitchen! Peace!